Welcome. You have just tuned in to Praying for the Nations, and my name is Minister Sherry Wesley. There's three topics that we're going to discuss today that we're going to pray about, and one of the topics is about um, Australia and about how the Islamic uh, regime, especially there was uh, teenagers that attempted to do a terrorist attack during the um, Memorial Day event. Also, we're going to talk about the UN and how they are calling for the Western nations to provide shelter for the Syrians' uh, refugees. And the last thing we're going to talk about is the Indian in India about the heat wave that they're having and how it has um, killed and even destroyed their cattle and their farmland. But first of all, we're going to start with a scripture. We're going to go to Matthew 24, verse 14. That's Matthew 24, verse 14. Okay, and in Matthew 24, verse 14, it says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. You know, I have been listening to the news um, of events that are happening, and there's so much hate crimes that are going on, racism that is happening in our nation today. And, you know, God just pressed upon my heart how important it is for us as Christians to go out and minister the gospel. You know, I'm seeing how the Islam regime, especially ISIS, is speaking to our young people all over this nation and recruiting them to do their terrorist attacks. But we as Christians need to also talk and minister to those about Jesus Christ. And you know, as, as I'm speaking to you, I'm also speaking to myself. Because we need to start testifying and speaking to individuals, especially to our young people, about Jesus Christ. We need to let them know that Jesus loves us, Jesus is our Savior, and Jesus wants to have a personal relationship with us. It's important for us to share the gospel with them, the good news of Jesus Christ. So as you're watching this program today, I'm making a plea to all of us, including myself, that we begin to start ministering the gospel to individuals that don't, that don't know him. We can do it when we go to the grocery store or when we're on, on the bus on our way to work. You know, just uh, begin to pray every morning and ask the Lord to give you uh, instruction and some wisdom. And he will begin to show you and reveal to you, give you discernment about individuals that you need to walk up to and speak to because it's, it's very important. Um, I was recently came back from uh, a trip from the Philippines, and it, it was so rewarding because they're so hungry. They're so hungry for the gospel. I mean, they, were, they wanted to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. And it, it helps them to pattern their lives and have that personal relationship by giving them uh, just instructions and, and, and giving them scriptures that will help them to on their journey and their walk so they can begin to have that relationship that is needed, and God be, can, can begin to use them in a mighty way. So, so let's start our first prayer. As I said, um, uh, the police in Australia happened to foil uh, an Islamic State uh, inspired to plot out to carry an attack on the World War I cemetery event. And this was for Memorial Day. There were five teenagers that were arrested, and they were suspected of a terrorist attack. 
and they actually planned to kill some of the police officers during this event, and this was in Melbourne, uh, Australia. And these teenagers are associated with an Islamic group that they have been um, approached, they've been talked to, and they decided that this is something that they wanted to do, something against the government. So let's begin to pray. These five teenagers have been arrested. Thank God that the police officers were able to um, find out about the plot and that they were able to arrest these individuals before anything happened to the police officers that were um, going to be part of this event. So, Father God, I just come before you right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, I pray for these five teenagers, Lord, that were involved in this terrorist attack. Father, I thank you that there was a divine intervention, that the police were able, Lord, to apprehend them before anything tragic was able to happen. And Father, I continually to pray that we as a nation will be on the alert, that we will be able to find and hunt down these individuals, Lord, that wish to take the lives of innocent people, that wish to use events as a form of an attack to get their point across. So Father, I thank you for the police department, for the FBI, for the CIA, Lord, and those that are involved, Lord, in hunting down these terrorist attacks. But Father, most of all, I want to pray for these five teenagers that were involved in this issue. And Father, I ask you, Lord, to have mercy upon their souls. Father, I ask you that while they're in jail, Lord, that you, Father, will begin to minister to them from the inside out. Father, that you will sing pastors their way. That, Father, even if there's inmates that are in the cells with them, Lord, that, Father, let them be paired up with Christians, Lord, men, Father God, that, um, are, that are turned on to you, Father. That, Lord, that these five individual teenagers, Lord, that they will begin, Lord, to have a renewing of their mind to let them know, Lord, that the things that they have desired to do to bring forth terrorism into, into, is, uh, into Australia, Father God, Lord Jesus, to cause killing and murdering of innocent lives, Father God, that, Lord, that this is a situation that is wrong, Lord Jesus. And, Father God, it will not bring glory to you. So, Father, I thank you that they are, have been apprehended, but, Father, at the same time, I ask you, Lord, to minister to them. Bring people in their pathway to let them know that the decisions that they have made were the wrong decisions. The decisions that they have made, Lord, to bring forth murder and death upon a nation, Father God. During a memorial service, Father, to bring glory to those that have fought in our country, Father. Father, I ask you, in the name of Jesus, to turn their hearts and their minds around, Father. So, Father, that they may, Lord Jesus, repent of what they have done, Lord, and that it will bring glory unto you, Father. I thank you for the radical change that will begin to take place, Father. I pray for each and every one of them, individually, Father, as well as collectively. I send this prayer forth, Father God, through, Father God, Australia and into the jail cells, Lord God. Father God, Help them, Lord God, to realize and recognize the fact that what they have done is displeasing unto you, Lord God, and displeasing, Father God, to their nation, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for the change of heart that will begin to take place in their souls, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I continue to lift up, Father God, these Islam groups, Lord Jesus, that are continually to go around this nation and recruiting, Father God, young individuals, Lord, to fight their cause, Lord God, to come against our government, Lord Jesus, to cover against, Father God, their own country, Lord God. Father, I thank you that you will give them a change of heart also, Lord. Let them not be part, Father God, of this continuous destroying of lives and innocent human beings, Lord God. But Father, I ask you that you will begin to impart into them, Lord, the goodness 
the, the kindness, the love of Jesus Christ within their hearts, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that there will be a divine intervention, Lord, that will begin to take place, Father God, that there are missionaries, Lord, there are pastors, Father God, there are Christians, Lord Jesus, that are covering this entire nation, that, Father God, you will draw them to them, Lord, that they will know the truth, Lord, and that the truth will begin to set them free. Father, let not our young people be involved in rebelliousness against our own country, Father God, against our own government, Lord God, but let them be the solution to the problem, Father God, and not the problem, Lord God. Father, I ask you right now in Jesus' mighty name, do a mighty work. Send the Holy Spirit forth, Father God. Touch the hearts of those, Lord God, that can make a difference, Lord Jesus, in our nation, Father God, and in our government, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, um, there's another scripture that I wanted to go over, and it's in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 18. And it says here, well, let's start from here. And it says, and I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all saints May you have power together with all saints to grasp how wide, how long, and how high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know the love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. All the fullness of God. If, 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 it's important for us as Christians to have the love and to know the depth, the height, how long and how high, and have that knowledge that we may be filled with the measure of all the fullness of God. Because it's going to take all the fullness of God in us, through us, and out of us in order to minister to those that don't know him. Satan is on, is on a, it, Satan is on a road where he wants to, where he wants to bring forth hate and destruction to our entire world. And we as Christians have to counteract that and begin to stand up and fight for our nation. This earth was created by God. Everything that's on it the moon, the sky, the sun, the, the, the grass, the ground that you walk on. It was all created by him. He spoke it into existence. How can we let the enemy come and destroy that? How can we let the enemy and come and destroy the creation that God has created? He also created us. And as his creation, we need to stand up and tell the enemy no more. We will not tolerate this hatred. We will not tolerate the murdering and the killing that is going on in our nation. But we, as, a, as Christians, need to stand up and begin to fight. I'm also going to pray about the UN, who has called the Western nations uh, to shelter uh, Syrian refugees. The war in Syria has increased and is According to what I've read, it said it's the worst global refuge crisis in decades. There are over 130,000 refugees in Syria. And the UN is calling on some of the nations to begin to deploy these, uh, these individuals, these refugees, into their nation. The United States. Uh, ha has been willing to accept at least about 2,000 of them by the year, by the fall of this year. Because it, it, it's such an epidemic, these individuals are placed in shelters at this point because of the fact that they don't even have peace and refuge in their own country. They can't, they don't have the independence, they don't have the ability to 
to even work, shop, or do the things that they normally do in their own country because of the revelation that is taking place, the revolution that is taking place. So we need to begin to fight for this nation, and we, and we need to get, and we need to begin to um, fight for them. Right now, we're going to take a break, and we will be right back after this break. Welcome back. 
If you have just tuned in, you have just tuned in to Praying for the Nations. And my name is Minister Sherry Wesley, so welcome back. We're going to continue our prayer. And uh, before the break, we were talking about the UN. And we were discussing the fact that there are 130 refugees in Syrian that um, Antonio Guterres has called upon the countries to begin to house these refugees that are in uh, Syrian right now. So we're going to begin to pray that some of these countries will begin to open up their doors and allow these refugees to come in so in order that they may reestablish their lives again and, and reestablish the peace and the freedom that they deserve. Amen? So let's begin to pray. Father God, I thank you for the UN. And Lord, I thank you that the UN, Father God, has taken a step forward and Father God, that are knocking on the doors of, these, of, of, of the countries around this entire nation. Father God, asking them, Lord Jesus, to help and house these refugees, Father God, that are placed into these shelters. Lord, I thank you that there shall be a screening process that will begin to take place, Father, that the, that the husbands, the wives, and the children, Father God, will be housed, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that the, uh, the countries around this nation will open their doors widely, Father God, and let them in, Lord God. Father, I thank you, Lord, that there will be relief for them, Father, that there will be food and clothing and shelter that will be, will be provided for them, Father. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you will provide jobs for them, that as they enter into these countries, Lord, that they will be able to go into the workforce, Father, and be productive, Father God. Father God, that they will not seek, Father God, um, county uh, regime, Lord Jesus, for welfare, Father God, food stamps of this nature, Lord. But Father, I thank you that they will come here, Father God, with desire to work and be productive, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So Father, I speak to the countries around this entire globe, Lord, that Father God, that you will prepare a program that is set up, Father God, to train and to teach, Father God, and to give them the equipment, Father God, to give them the, uh, the schooling and the technology that they need, Father God, in order for them, Father God, to go into the workplace. Provide them, Father God, facilities, Lord God, where they can learn the language of the country that they're going to be placed in, Father. So, Father God, that they will not be a burden, Lord Jesus, but, Father God, that they will, Father God, be um, accepted into the society, Father God, and into the workforce, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. And, Lord, the last thing we want to pray for is India. There is a heat wave that is going across India, and the death toll has reached close to over 2,000. And it's causing shortage for water, uh, shortage for, uh, as they, uh, also for food. It's destroying the crops and also the wildlife. So we're going to begin to pray for India and um, that the Lord will bring rain and that also it will bring relief to those that are in the villages and don't have the means of air condition or even water. So Father, I lift up India unto you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray especially for the villages, Father God, that don't have the sources of air condition, Father God, or even the sources of, of water, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask you to bring relief, Lord God. That Father God, I ask you, Lord, that other countries will come together and provide water supplies for them, Father God. Help them, Lord God, even with their wildlife, Father God, that, that they may be able to provide water for them, and even with their crops, Father. For this is their source, Father God, of income. This is their source of survival, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. We ask you, Lord, to go forth right now in Jesus' name and to bring them from the, from the, from the north, the south, the east, and the west, and provide them, Father God, with the provisions that they need, Lord, until they can sustain this heat wave, Father God, that is going on in their, in their country right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, those that don't even know you, Lord God, that, Father God, that you will even send, Lord Jesus, your missionaries in, Lord God, that you will be able to minister the love of God to them, Father God, and minister salvation unto them, Lord Jesus. That, Father God, that you will give them, that they will have a life of hope, Lord, and not despair, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for every prayer that has gone forth today. Father, that you, Lord, are in the midst, that the Holy Spirit is moving mightily, Father God, to bring forth every prayer that we have prayed today, Father, into, Father God, reality, Lord God. 
Father, I thank you that we have that opportunity to go before you in prayer. We have the opportunity, Father God, to have that personal relationship with you. We have that opportunity, Lord, to know that when we pray that you hear us, Father God, and that you are on the move, Father God, to prevent, to destroy all the works of the enemy, Father, in the name of Jesus. So today, those of you that are watching this program, I'm making a, a, dec a decree to you and asking you that you would go forth and begin to minister to the gospel to those that don't know. To those that don't know, because the end times are coming. They're coming. And we want to be effective in these last days and minister the gospel to those that, have, that don't know the gospel, that have not heard the gospel, and those that have no hope and those that are desperate and they need to hear the word of the gospel. So this is my cry to you today, that we will be more productive in ministering the word of God to those that don't know. Because this is, what Jesus, this is a mandate that Jesus has asked us to do, to minister the word of God to others. So that's what I'm asking you to do. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you all for watching this program today. And uh, I just want to let you know that continue, please continue to make your pledges unto to OCN, Open Door Broadcasting Network. We need your finances to keep this broadcast on the air. And write us and let us know how this broadcast has impacted your lives. Call us and let us know the name the address and the telephone number is on the screen so you can call us. Please, our desire and passion is to keep ministering the gospel all over this world. You can also watch us on Streamlines and also watch us on Ruko. You can purchase a Ruko and um, you can also watch us on there. And continually to pray for us that we can continually to get the gospel around the world. And also, we can minister and teach those that do not know the word of God. So I want to thank all of you. God bless each and every one of you for watching this program for today. God bless you all. Amen.